What is up guys, this is the Killshot90 here, and I am doing a review of, so far, the DLC characters we have in Injustice 2, and this video is also going to be a combination of talking about why um, I won episode 2 of um, the 123 Knockout. Uh, so right now, as you see, uh, I have Red Hood on here. Um, I think I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong as far as showing the inputs and stuff like that. Uh, I am in practice mode uh, while doing that. Um, Red Hood's definitely, uh, probably out of Fighter Pack 1, my favorite character. Like, he was one of the uh, most requested characters, especially on my list. Um... I know I talked about that I didn't really want to see Starfire because I just don't like her character development. Uh, but she ended up actually turning out to be pretty good in this game and her story um, fit into this universe. I'm alright. They kind of went more with the comic book version of the character. Uh, as you can see, I am going to show you combos, uh, special moves that you can use with the characters, what ones I like to use. Um... And as you can tell, I'm taking on Captain Cold here. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, I am playing this on a PS4 Pro. Um, it's definitely the uh, system that I prefer to play a uh, majority of my games. But I do uh, want to get an Xbox One X with my wife so we can play a couple of Xbox games on there that uh, we've wanted to play. Uh, you can see me checking combos here, and I'll be doing throughout that with a lot of the characters, what some of the combos are. I think I was also trying to figure out how to uh, use the uh, the character power uh, into a combo. I, I know I used to have one that I could do. Um, that uh, was pretty fun to do. I think I'm just messing around here at this point uh, on the uh, the gameplay with Red Hood. Uh, it's uh, he he's definitely a character that uh, you could say he wasn't like what you thought he would be, but he kind of is at the same time. He's some of his moves didn't make a lot of sense for him, and then a handful of them did. Um, but he's definitely my favorite character out of uh, Fighter Pack One. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll just see me mess around here. Um, I think I'm doing his lunge move. Uh, star moves. I'm uh, pretty sure that he had to move up in the air. Yep. Pistols. Um... So, yeah, he, he's a character that is pretty fun. Um... And as I said before, we will be explaining uh, the verdict and stuff like that of what happened with episode two. Um, and definitely follow me uh, on Twitter, uh, Blake the BLT. Um, I'll definitely be posting more questions for um, one, two, three knockout. Um, and I, I, it, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I do know I need to do a, uh, my thoughts on, um, uh, Fighter Pack 3, uh, which has, uh, Adam, which is the first character coming out in December, which is the month of my birthday. Um, and, uh, we've got Enchantress, which was a pretty, you know, bare basic, you already knew it was kind of going to happen when you saw the silu uh, silhouette of the character um and then we got a big surprise of the teenage mutant ninja turtles um and I, I really can't wait to see how they are going to play so i'm expecting adam will be in december uh enchantress will more than likely be in um january and then february will be the turtles but they could end up surprising us and the turtles come out before that um, we're getting ready to go into the Starfire gameplay here soon, um, so let's just keep watching. And uh, well, uh, yeah, do a little dance. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Yeah, 
just having a little fun. Uh, I think I might have been talking to a friend at this point, but we are getting ready to switch over into this. So that was Red Hood. Starfire. All right. So you can see, I ain't got a lot for Starfire. I actually don't think she has a lot of gear myself. Um, she's she's a good character. She's not my favorite uh, for this. Whoop 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 whoop. Um, she's definitely not how I figured she would have played. Uh, that's pretty a spammable move there. Uh, so yeah, you, we're, we're definitely going, uh, we'll come in and out on this video. I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, general thoughts, uh, you know, Starfire is definitely one of the other characters that I did quite enjoy on, uh, on here, but she is definitely my favorite of Fighter Pack 1. Uh, Red Hood is. So I'm definitely going to end some of the uh, the audio here and I'll come back when uh, we're with Sub-Zero. All right, guys, we're back, and now we're talking about Sub Zero. Sub -Zero. Um, definitely a character that isn't. Uh, Aquaman. He could. I think a lot of people would have been fine without him being in here, but we all kind of expect he was going to be because of Scorpion in the first game. Um, and yeah, Ed Boon said that a lot of guest characters are um, the highest. Uh, you know, the ones that get paid for the most. But what I have to say to you, Ed Boon, is if it's a character that your company owns, 
it's not a guest character. You own Mortal Kombat, so technically it's your character, so it's not a guest. Uh, and I, I just don't feel that Mortal Kombat characters should be in other games than just their self. Now, what I what I like to see at Mortal Kombat versus uh, Killer Instinct, yeah, I think that would be a pretty interesting game. Um, but I think in the DC world, it, it just the first game it didn't fit. Um, I don't. I mean, as a kid, I remember playing Mortal Kombat versus DC and thought it was fun, and then it just wasn't. Uh, the older I got, and I, I mean, they have a good mix up in here, um, but I mean. I, I don't know. It, it, it's it, you just gotta find a good balance. So maybe they did with this game. And if, if Mortal Kombat vs. DC2 is the next game that comes out and it plays like this a lot, then it might be fun. But I would still rather see uh, Mortal Kombat vs. Killer Instinct, which is something that is believable with killing. They were two very violent games of their time. Uh, they definitely push boundaries, and I want to see um, a DC versus Marvel game set like this, uh, not in the uh, you know landscape of uh, Marvel versus Capcom, which is a good game series itself. But I do want to see um, uh, more of the comic book characters going head to head. Um, and I think DC versus uh, Marvel would definitely be a good way to do that. I know there was a comic book series, uh, comic book series based on it. So I'm, I think if they could get along to do that, then why can't they get along to make an epic game? I think people want it. They know they want it. Um, it's more than likely just because of a certain company. We all know who ho -ho -ho! company that isn't willing to, you know, budge to make that game possible. Uh, and maybe hopefully one day, if we're, you know, still young, uh, that game will happen. Uh, so that's my thoughts on that. Uh, Sub-Zero could have been okay without him, but kind of knew it was going to happen. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorite combos right there. Bah, 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 take that. Uh, Aquaman looking over there like all menacing. Like, uh-huh. I'm going to stab you with this pole. Come on. Bend over. Bend over. I'll talk to the fish in your butthole. Alright, so I'm going to end the audio here for Sub-Zero. Alright guys, we're sitting here in Black Manta now. Uh, this is Fighter Pack 2. Um, we we kind of finished that out uh, on the 14th and I think the 21st for people who don't have the ultimate pack. Um, I'm not for sure why I was looking at Atrocitus. I think I might have been Black thinking Manta. of something or talking to someone. But there's my Black Manta. Dark side. 
Um, we got him going up against <laughs> Dark Side here. Um, it's definitely a fun character. Uh, one thing that I do wish that they would add into this game is the ability. They they did good with AI Simulator, uh, make the characters kind of play the way you play. Um, but I feel they need they need to improve upon that where the actual AI copies how you handle things in the real game. So you play a couple of matches, and the AI mimics what you you yourself would do in that situation. I think that would be a lot better. Um, and we should be able to do AI. This is one game that I could actually say AI fighting would be interesting to watch to see. You know, you pit Black Manta up against Dark Side. Well, who's gonna win that in this game? I mean, in real life, that that's Dark Side. In this game, it's possible for you know Black Manta to beat. Dark side. Um, it's definitely he's one of my favorite characters in Fighter Pack Two. I would say he's my second uh, favorite um, because we got Hellboy, and I've been playing as him since the 14th, and he's definitely my favorite character out of Fighter Pack Two. The the uh, other character we'll definitely get to him after this. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't really want to talk about him, but gotta do it anyway, you know. All the views. Alright, well, I'm gonna end here with Black Manta so you can watch this awesome gameplay of me just fiddling around with Black Manta and doing some combos and uh, other things. I still quite haven't figured out how to use his character power to its fullest, but I'm working on that. Oh, gosh dang Raiden. Raiden. Gosh dang Raiden. Alright, tickle his Poison butthole with an electrical pole. <laughs> Why did we need him Fighters in this game? We don't. And uh, that he was purely put in here because more than likely either NetherRealms couldn't get the okay from other companies or Warner Brothers didn't want the okay from other companies for other characters in this DC game. Um... Could we have had someone better? Yes. We totally could have just had um, Static Shock over him. Uh, we didn't need Black Lightning. The only reason they put him in there is because of the show that's coming out, which I'm not going to watch. I, I'm not worried. He's not one of the characters that I like. Do I like Static? Yes. I, I would. I'd love to see a live-action Static Shock show. Um, just determine on who you get to act for that. That would be interesting to figure out. Um, but Raiden's just a character that I'm not really fond of 
I don't think he really does much for this game. If anything, he was there for marketing purposes. Hey, look, it's Raiden. So Mortal Kombat fans, come play my game. Oh, look, we also got Black Lightning. So if you're a big fan of the new show, let's get ready to come out. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Bull crap. That's all that this character was. And he didn't need to be in the game. We could have had a static shock that they showed. He was fully ready to go, and they just dumped him out of the game. I, I don't quite understand why, or if you didn't want to add another electrical character besides Raiden, just put Beast Boy. I mean, that's another highly requested character for fans. But this was definitely a character that was not requested, and I don't think a lot of people, unless they had the Ultimate Pack, downloaded this guy. I don't think they really cared, and they didn't want him in their game. Uh, so they probably nitpicked the characters that they wanted. Most people probably chose. Black Mana and Hellboy. Um, but my thoughts on him, he's hes the worst character out of this the whole DLC so far. Uh, and more likely will be the only worst character out of here. Uh, yeah, I know some good combos with him, but that's just because I play Mortal Kombat. And that's where I feel Raiden should stay. Um, but I'm going to end it here with Raiden because he just gets on my nerves in this game. Oh, it just sets a trigger in me. Raiden sucks, he sucks, he really, really sucks on his pole electrical stove. I know, no any more words to this song, but Raiden sucks and injustice to him. Let's go kick his beacon ass with an electrical
Hellboy. And here we are, folks. Hellboy. Swamp Thing. Uh, one of my favorite characters uh, out of the uh, Fighter Pack 2. Uh, him and Hellboy and Hellboy and Red Hood are my two favorites so far out of the DLC. I definitely know the Turtles are more likely going to be my favorite. I hope they play the way that, I, that I'm thinking. I think they're going to play separately. Even though it says we work as a team, I think they're going to... By that, I think they're going to be... They'll work as a team in their special move. But technically... Depending on what trait, what um, gear pieces you have is going to determine on which turtle you're playing as uh, and what shader you decide to use. Um, do I feel that they're going to play all as one? No, I don't think so. Uh, if they do, then maybe there will be a certain way with their trait power that you can summon different ones. Like if you click down and... Down in circle, that summons, like you start out with Leo, and then down in circle comes out Wrath. Uh, back in circle, Donnie. Forward in circle, Mikey. And up in circle brings out Leo again. And they all have simple moves that they can do in different combos. And some of their special moves change just a little bit. Um, then I think it could work that way. And I would be fine with that one, because then technically you could play as all four turtles in one match. Combo on that would be weird, uh, but awesome at the same time. So, I mean, I hope that's how it plays out, is where you just switch them with their character trait, but I have a feeling that it's going to be solely based on gear, uh, what uh, what abilities you have on them, and stuff like that is going to determine which turtle you're actually playing as. Which, if the, I mean, if that's the case, I'm more likely just going to be playing as Mike or Raph. Because they were my two favorite turtles out of there. So Mike is definitely the more favorite for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let my wife take over. Um, she's going to explain during this um, what the outcome of uh, 123 Knockout was. And if you want to leave a comment down below on some questions that you would like to hear in our next episode of 123 Knockout, definitely leave that down in the comment or comment me on Twitter. Blake the BLT, and um, tell me what type of poll you would like to see, what question you want to see, and I'll definitely put it up, and you, the fans, can decide from there. But I'm going to let her take over from here, and uh, here we go. Like he said, I do believe that he won. Blake did, and that's mainly time. because in the first round, yeah, Rebel 180, he did, um, he did stump him a little bit and caught him off guard by his arguments, but everyone after that, he really didn't really do much, he just kept asking to repeat the question, he pretty much did the um all the time. And he really didn't give a good enough explanation why he believed his side was right. So, if you can't convince somebody to uh, uh, your, convince somebody that your side is the better side, then how is somebody supposed to believe you on anything else? You're supposed to defend your argument and you did not do that. Cut off, but you can enjoy this sexy ab Hellboy. <laughs> what am I getting smacked for? Nah, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hope y'all have a good. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day, night, afternoon, whatever the hell you to watch these videos. And um, definitely go check out one of my friends, uh, CJ. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get his full name. I may try to link him in the next video. Uh, his name is me. 
program at uh, college. Uh, I'm excited to see my friends from college. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to get him into our movie. Uh, when we'll see y'all next time on.